As you guys know, the original 36 cards in Frag Pro Shooter received a 30% buff to health and damage. So today, we're going to do part one for covering which ones are the best, top 10 best buff cards in Frag Pro Shooter. And remember, this is the original 36. If you guys want to win those matches so that you can get that Frag Anniversary event stuff, you need to know who the cards are that you want to run. So I'm going to give you that list, and with that, you should find yourself able to win more matches faster and unlock those awesome rewards that are given to us by Frag Pro Shooter. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Here we go. Coming in at number 10, we have Victor Von Doom. Why is Victor Von Doom here? Well, it is very simple. This card got that health and damage buff. So the issue with Victor Von Doom pre this was the fact that he didn't do enough damage and he felt like something was lacking. And while these still seem to persist, he still isn't doing enough damage, it is enough now to make him viable. If you can get him into a sneaky push situation, you will find yourself becoming incredibly pesty for your opponent, especially if you manage to get an offensive revive with this card. That is the key with this ability, play the ultimate ability. If you don't understand this card, I'll post a link to a Von Doom video in the top right hand corner. Please go check it out. It will help you with your Victor Von Doom. So get your Von Doom on, bring back your team, and win those matches with Von Doom. Now that being said, we're gonna move into number nine. Number nine on our list is everybody's favorite Jet. Jet is one of the most, man, how did I win this? Jet is probably one of the most favorite cards Frag has ever let go. One of the most popular cards is the word I was looking for. She is loved by everybody and nobody really has any issues with her other than her projectile doesn't work. But now with that damage increase and the ability to take a couple more shots, she finds herself on this list at number nine. The issues with Jet pre this update were the fact that her ult was her ability, her primary fire was very hard to hit, and it didn't do enough damage. It now does really solid damage at level 11. It's 45 per ball, and that is a lot to keep in mind. That adds up quickly. So, with that being said, Jet is an excellent choice if you were going to run one of the 36 OG cards to rack up those rewards. That being said, let's move into number eight. Number eight on our list is Striker. You're right, Striker. Now, I know somebody's gonna be like, he's still a broken, yes he is. But the fact that he now does 35 per hit with his primary fire, and if you can hit his ultimate ability, move your sensitive aim assist down to zero and you'll be able to hit it consistently. You will find this card is incredibly annoying and incredibly hard to kill. He combines elite level speed with a slaying ability that is second to none. And if somebody really irritates you like those Lucha Boys, just hit him off the map. You'll feel better about it at the end of the day. <laughs> so as you guys know, the issue with Striker has always been his ultimate ability is not working. Um, now this increase in damage helps him because now he doesn't have to rely on the alt as heavily. So that is why he finds himself at the number eight spot on our list today. So hope you guys enjoy Striker. Check him out. If you don't, haven't tried him before, I'll leave a link to a Striker video for you guys to check out as well. Popping up top right, number seven. Number seven comes JB. JB, JB, JB. JB was actually a really good card pre this buff, but with the 30% increase to his damage and 30% health increase, he finds himself being a bit more tanky and inflicting just a bit more damage. 38 per headshot on a burst, that is four rounds, is a lot, guys. Just to put that into perspective for you, it's like, what, 152 damage on a full four round burst that's a lot guys making him incredibly viable he was viable before but now finds himself in discussion for playability and also an excellent card to play if you are trying to rack up those eliminations so that we get those rewards from the frag devs for the frag anniversary 
So I would recommend that you take a look at JB. As you guys know, the issue with him before was he just couldn't take enough damage. Now with that health increase, he finds himself being able to take one to two more shots from opponents, keeping him alive longer, allowing him to eliminate those cards in JB fashion. All right, let's move in to number six. Now this one may surprise you, but it is Volcano. Why is Volcano number six? Well, to put it really simply, Volcano damage is a thing. So the issue with Volcano pre this buff was the fact that his primary fire was so slow that it wasn't able to do enough damage efficiently enough and the fact that he was kind of squishy while he is still kind of squishy he now does that volcano damage that we all have come to love it's 99 on direct impact and then there is a burn off effect that racks up very very quickly and this is something substantial guys with this card there is no joke and there is no replacement for the damage he can do and he finds himself one comboing with the ultimate ability and primary fire on most characters in the game minus some of the really tanky cards so volcano's a sneaky pick to run if you're trying to rack up eliminations for the frag anniversary event and honestly he combines that with pretty darn good movement speed so i think you'll find you'll enjoy this card in the situations and i think you will enjoy catching people on fire let's move into some gameplay and talk about it so now we're going to give you my thoughts on this whole 30 percent health and 30% damage increase for the 36 OG Fraggers. Uh, and we're going to talk about it here momentarily. So here's what my thoughts are for it. I like the idea. I like the idea of trying to move cards up into the meta discussion that haven't been there in a long time minus Lucha Boy because he never goes anywhere. But I don't know if this was the best way to do it. I am enjoying this because of the fact I get to relive the frag that was here whenever I started. But I think that there were better ways to bring these cards back into meta, and I want a more permanent way to bring these cards back into meta. Realistically, of the cards that got the buffs, only three of them have moved into any form of meta talk. And I think that that's something interesting to note. And of the three, one of them has always been there, which we'll talk about tomorrow. So make sure you're here for tomorrow's the top five that are left, part two for the top 10 series. Um, as a whole though, guys, I do like the attempt. I do like the idea. I just think it could have been better executed. Now, with that being said, of these 10 cards or the five that we talked about today, I am really enjoying playing a couple of them. Jet for me is fun. Jet has always been fun and I find her being even more fun in this current state. I think Volcano needs to keep his buff because it feels like Volcano should feel. I think if you just touch the fire rate up a tiny, tiny bit with Volcano, you have an excellent card on your hands. I think that that was great. But I will say of the five here, the one that I am really enjoying the most is probably Jet. The fact that I can now play Jet, go toe to toe with those pesky cards means a lot. And I do believe that as a whole, you'll find that you enjoy these cards more in their current state than you have before. Now, does this fix the matchmaking issue in Frag? Absolutely not, because people, there's too many broken cards that make these cards mean basically nothing. That's just the simple truth. But does it help? Yes. Does it create a little more variety? Yes, as well. I think that Frag has done a good attempt here, and I think that they will continue to do a good attempt. Now, guys, if you're curious about what I thought of Hubble here, the new character that came to Frag, check out that video it pops up in the top right, and we'll be popping up the end of the video as well as the Kazulu nerf that has everybody so sad that really wasn't much of a nerf because now his damage is instant. That'll be popping up here as well at the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts on the changes down below in the comment section. Leave a like if you haven't already, and check out one of my other videos as it really does help me out. Stay tuned for tomorrow's top 10, the finale, or part two, whatever you want to call it, and I will see you legends next time. Bye-bye, everybody, and enjoy this match.